4 Privet Drive. That address means a lot to a Harry Potter fan. And with this set retiring soon, is it time to finally pick it up? Let's roll the intro and check it out. Welcome to my review of the Harry Potter 4 Privet Drive Lego set. This set was released on the 1st of June 2020 and is actually due to retire this year in December according to multiple sources. This set has 797 pieces and features 6 minifigures in total with a few notable inclusions from the film series. This set features the famous residents of Harry Potter and his lovely family and depicts a few of the famous scenes at the house including the over a lord of owl male inviting harry potter to hogwarts harry potter's breakout with ron in the famous blue ford and dobby with the floating birthday cake these are where most of the play features come into play but we'll look more into them once we have this set built the price for this set is usually 69.99 pounds but i managed to get it for a nice 49.99 moving on to the box art we see the house surrounded by the included characters and as mentioned before depicts a few of the famous scenes from throughout the movies. In the bottom left corner we see the six included minifigures and moving to the top right we see the famous trio from the Harry Potter movies denoting that this set is a Harry Potter set in case you didn't know. Looking at the top of the box we get a better look at the included minifigures and their accompanying accessories if they come with some and turning around to the back of the box we get a view of the house from the back. This allows us to look inside at the interior of the house and see some of the included play features dotted around the box including how to access Harry Potter's room under the stairs and the owl mail coming through the chimney followed by the fireplace inside the house. Opening up the box inside we find five big bags full of parts an 8x16 plate for the house instructions and 12 stickers to complete the look of the build. So I went ahead and built the set and now we can have a look at the finished product. Start on the outside Lego has really nailed the look of a typically British looking house with nice tan bricks with the odd pattern brick thrown in and lovely brown windows. There's a sticker used to show the avalanche of owl mail coming through the letterbox and turn the house to the side we see the barricade window where Harry Potter escaped the house with Ron. If you're really enjoying this video don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Lego content like this as well as more. Moving around to the back now we can see the interior of the house. This is where we can see one of the player features in action which is the owl mail coming through the fireplace. To do this you insert these 1x2 tiles with printing on into this gap in the wall. Turn the cog and owl mail incoming. We've then got Harry Potter's room under the stairs which can be accessed from the inside as well as from the side. Barricade window comes out nice and easy to depict the escape by Harry Potter and Ron Weasley in the Ford Anglia. Speaking of the Ford Anglia, the car is represented quite well within this 6 wide build. The car features opening side doors as well as opening rear. This is where the chain used for the escaped is stored as well as a little suitcase. I'm assuming this suitcase is Harry's but truly with a middle modification this car would have been able to fit a little trunk in it. But other than that it is a really nice little build in addition to the house. So in this set you do get 6 minifigures. These include the Dursleys, Harry Potter and Ron Weasley along with everyone's favourite free elf Dobby. Starting off with the Dursleys, Vernon comes off the worst here with printing only appearing on the front of the minifigure's body but does feature two facial expressions on his head. A very basic minifigure at that, Petunia and Dudley each have printing on the front and back of their bodies with two facial expressions to use. Harry Potter and Ron each feature small legs with printing on the front and back with two facial expressions again. The Dobby minifigure features dual moulded legs with printing on the front and back as well as a nicely moulded head that I feel represents the character quite well. So in terms of pros and cons of this set, the house looks accurate to what it is depicting. The play features included in this set are cool to mess around with. In terms of cons, 
The retail price for this set is way too high, but thankfully it looks like it's usually on sale these days. And some of the minifigures could have been better, especially the Dursleys and Harry Potter and Ron Weasley. In conclusion, this set is a nice addition to any Harry Potter fans collection. It's a shame about some of the minifigures not having great detail, but the build itself looks really cool. And with what's included, it allows the set to be displayed, depicting a few scenes from the famous movie series. The house is accurate as can be given the size of the build. At the full price of $69.99 this set is a hard sell but at $49.99 it is more of a reasonable price. So what do you guys think? As always I'll be answering comments for a few hours after this video has gone live. Anyway take care guys and I'll see you in the next video.